Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com and MakingWithMetal.com. I'm going to mix it up a little bit today. In this box, I've got something a little bit different. It's the eye gauging Wi Fi digital microscope. Pretty cool device, and it's got USB and Wi Fi connectivity so that you can connect it to your phone, your tablet, or your PC. Why do I want this in the shop? Well, when I'm machining parts on the metal lathe or on the milling machine, it's actually really important to be able to take a really, really up close look at that surface finish to see if I'm getting what I need out of the machine and out of the tooling and I can adjust my setup if I need to, that kind of thing. I also thought it'd be great to take a look at surface finish of parts I'm evaluating like reloading dies or even to take a really close look at bullets fired from the same gun to see if we can do a little bit of that forensics work to match up a bullet to a barrel that it was fired from, that kind of thing. So I'm going to get this out of the box. I'm going to get it set up. I've got an accessory here, which is an XY table for it so that we can precisely align parts that we're looking at through the microscope. And we will see how this device works. So I use quite a few eye gauging precision measurement tools. This is the first time that I've used anything a little bit more involved and elaborate. A little bit stubborn getting that out of there. I have not had this out of the box yet. So I wanted to save this first kind of reaction for, for you all. Let me actually flip this over completely. There we go. Why do it the hard way, right? <laughs> okay, looks like we need to cut this guy. Okay, that's the bottom, the base. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay. So there's the main part. I've got a power adapter here. USB cable. That's micro USB. And this is a US, USB flash drive. The software comes on that. We've got a cover, okay, a tool, looks like a SIM card popping tool actually. Okay, so that's the packing materials. Here's the, here's the microscope and let's also take a look at this table. Ooh, wow. This is even a little bit more involved than I was picturing. Look at that, we can, looks like we can line things up to a, a, a thousandth of an inch. How cool is that? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to download the instructions and familiarize myself with the microscope and I'll walk you guys through the setup process and uh, we'll take a look at some stuff. So give me a couple minutes. Okay, so the microscope is up and running. This thing is awesome. Let me tell you, 400 power magnification is a great capability to have. And it's really simple and straightforward to set up, install, and get going. Let me give you a quick run through of that process. So I started with the USB thumb drive. In there, there's a directory that contains copies of PDF owner's manuals. I picked the English one, read that over lunch. Has all the specifications, all of the features and functionality, and tells you how to get set up and running. The first thing I did was to install the XY table, which is really simple. There's this platform that comes on the microscope base that's black on one side and white on the other. That just pops out. There's these spring clips down here that hold that in place. I then removed the mounting ring from the XY table and screwed that into the base, flipped the base upside down, and then there's two screws that go through the mounting ring into the XY table. Done. Okay, now it's time to connect the microscope to the PC or to the wall power adapter. There's two cords. One is micro USB that powers the camera assembly itself and also has a USB digital interface if you're using something like this Windows PC here. And then there's another cable that supplies power to the light assembly. There's two lights, one sort of circumferential ring light and one focused down light and you can kind of vary the, the two intensities, the ratio of the two intensities to get different lighting effects on the object that you're looking at. 
So I switched the switch over to USB, plugged both cables into the PC here, and then went to install the app. The app is installed by double clicking on the executable at the root folder of the USB thumb drive and answer a couple prompts and it's installed on the PC. Once the microscope was plugged in and the app was running, boom, the image came up and I was able to start playing with it. And if you're gonna to connect to a phone, the setup process is a little bit different, uh, or a tablet even. If you're gonna use the Wi-Fi functionality, you're gonna use the wall power adapter that's gonna power the camera assembly and the light assembly but when you switch the switch over to Wi-Fi, it's going to create a Wi-Fi access point. You connect to that Wi-Fi access point, you enter the passcode 12345678, <laughs> which is the password, and then you can use an app called UCAM Plus. That's the iPhone version. I believe the Android version is, is very similar, and I'll be finding out because I'm going to use my tablet here in the machine shop and in the reloading room to view to show you all what I'm looking at when I'm using the microscope. So very easy to set up and configure. Let me show you the microscope in action. Okay, so up here we have the connectivity setting, USB on the left, Wi-Fi on the right. I'm gonna click on the USB setting here. And when we do that, the image is gonna come up on the screen since we have that connected to the laptop and we're using the micro capture. This is version 6.9.8. That's the app that comes with the microscope on the thumb drive. And what we want to start with is we want to loosen this back knob here and then get kind of the height, the rough in setting close. And I'm going to actually center the fine adjustment here. Okay, so we're going to just lower this until we see that we're approximately in focus right about there. Okay, make sure that we're square. And then we can fine tune the focus with this knob here, just like a regular microscope. And you can see we can get really precise. This knob here is on the front and that controls the magnification. So we can go all the way up to 400 times and fine tune our focus. You can see how much detail that we can see here. We can use the controls on the XY table here to really finally adjust the exact placement of the object that we're, that we're examining. And then we can go back out to minimum magnification here again. So this is quite a versatile setup. We can hit the record button here and record what we're seeing on the PC. It produces an AVI file that we can import into a video editing program or view later. So this is kind of the PC connectivity scenario. And if we switch this switch here to Wi-Fi, we're gonna have a Wi-Fi access point. Let me show you how this works with the phone. Okay, so we have Wi-Fi activated on the microscope. We are connected to our Wi-Fi access point. This reconnects, which is really nice. And we can now go to the UCAM Plus application. And we can see here that we're connected and we can do things like set our magnification and focus just like with the, the PC app. It is a little bit more responsive, I would say. You can see here it's near real time, which is really nice, works really well. Let's throw something else on the platform here. Here's a uh, bullet. Let's see if we can get that to stay stationary. Okay. And We'll adjust our focus a little bit here and then punch in on our magnification. You can see that level of fine detail. That's the cannula on the bullet. That's a 30 cal tracer there. And let's take a look at some wood. Why not? Look at that. Look at the detail. It's just really, really amazing how well this microscope does. Well, as you can see, this is a very powerful and very flexible tool. I am really glad that I have it in the shop now. Love the PC connectivity, love the mobile device connectivity, the fact that I can use it with my Apple device, my phone, and my Android device, my tablet. It's gonna be awesome. And you're gonna see this microscope from time to time on Making With Metal related to the machining and on Ultimate Reloader related to some of the other reloading related, ballistics related stuff 
that we're looking at here. So make sure that you're subscribed. What do you all think of this device? What would you use it for? If you need a digital microscope, I'd love to find out what your plans are for it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget I got a full write-up. Click on that first link in the video description. You can find out a lot more about how this works, links to where you can buy it, and so on and so forth. Until next time, happy machining, happy shooting, and happy reloading.